Once you've had your tracing paper mat cut as well as your drawing, what you're going to do is now take mylars and create your image. I would suggest to make all of my mylars the size of my drawing so that it's easier to work with. So here are my mylars which are finished on top of the drawing. I always think it's easier if you tape the mylars one at a time to the drawing itself. So first I made a flat, so this will be F1 means it's the first color that I'm going to be printing. And see in the little teeny corner right there, I always put it there so that I can remember what is the front side. So then you can see F2 and then F3, and here I am just showing you what it looks like as you go through the mylars. So it's easiest to see it at the end when you kind of compare it to your tracing paper as well as the drawing itself. You can also freehand, you do not have to trace the drawing itself and often I always say that's a preferable method because you did the drawing originally so now you can make the um, mylars and the drawing is just a guide. It doesn't have to be the exact replication of what you want to make because ultimately it's going to look different when you print it.